Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to do upset operations using lookup transformation in SIS. So upset means here update and insert up insert operation. First of all, I will show my input data. This is my source test document which, which contains three comma delimited columns and four records are there. It's related to players, uh, tennis players. I want to insert these four records into this table. Upset lookup table. Right now there is no data. Now by using lookup transformation, first I will insert the, those four records into this table. Afterwards, after making some changes in the source document, I will do uh, how, how the changes will be updated in the in the final destination table. <coughs> For that, I am using my workflow will be like this. First one is data flow task that is uh, to configure flat file source. Flat file source. And second one is here using the lookup transformation. Lookup transformation. And from lookup transformation, there is two parts here. One is no match records will go to OLEDP destination. OLEDP destination directly to insert the records. So, if match records are there, as per the update statement, we use by using the OLEDP command transformation, we can update the table accordingly. So, by, uh, so the data flow task for uh, configuring the flat file source, lookup transformation from lookup transformation, uh, all uh, no match output output records are moved to OLEDP destination. Here, the inserts are happened in the table, and the matching records as per the update uh, in their column values, it will it will take in, into the OLEDP command transformation to read. Uh, each record from the source and update accordingly to the destination table. So here I am using the store procedure. So here uh, I am using the store procedure to, to read the data and to execute the uh, update uh, records into the destination table. I am taking the data flow task here. So I am configuring flat file source, take new, I am taking the source document. I need to change the data type of this ID column to 4 by 10 integer for the compatibility with the destination table. Columns, it's mapped. And here, afterwards, I am using the lookup transformation. In lookup transformation, specify how to handle rows with no matching entries. Redirect rows to no match output, I am taking this one and go to connection and take new admin is sample is my database and click OK. Now I am taking the table, upset lookup table, upset lookup table. This is the table I want to load and then go to columns. And here you need to ma match the input columns with the lookup columns with ID. And rest of the things are normal. Now I am dragging the OLEDP destination. OLEDP destination. So for that, here I am taking lookup no match output. To configure, double click, take new sample and I am here taking my table look up certain look up table mappings so next thing I am doing here is the OLDP command so here uh, look up no match obviously second one match records will move to the redirected to OLDP command transformation here I am clicking and I am taking the connection manager sample 
type component here you, you need to write some sql command sql transformation sorry store procedure so i am writing for store procedure here create r r to procedure or proc so proc name here is insert update or upset 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 data upset data is the is my store procedure name here i am taking three parameters because my source table has three parameters three columns so for those three columns i am creating the three parameters three input parameters id in time taken and second is first name f first name first name where char 50 last name where char 50 and this is i am taking all columns from the table as input parameters now as is keyword begin and end which in begin and end you need to write your update statement so here i am taking update update which table you want to update here i want to update here of upset lookup table set set is the keyword so there are three columns first name set first name is equal to i am taking this at first name and take this parameter comma last name the last underscore name is the column name here for that i am mapping with at last name is the for parameter and where where id is equal to at id so this is the procedure so uh, i am taking the update update table name set first name first name is the column name of the table i am mapping with uh, with the, uh, at first name with the parameter input parameter like that last time also where id is equal to at id i am creating this statement so it is created successfully now if you want to execute here you need to pass the three parameters but here what i need to do here is i haven't passed any parameter i am just using three com question marks separated by the comma i am taking this uh, command and paste it in the, in the oledb component properties so i am click okay just go to column mappings here you need to map your columns to the uh, respective input parameters so i am mapping all these things click okay now all set so if you execute the package now from lookup table no match records will move to while while ready destination for insert and if, they, if there are any updates are there in the column values it will re redirect it to the while ready command transformation to update so i am running the package now see here from platform source to four records are moved to lookup transformation from lookup right now we don't have any data in, in this table so all are no match records and now all these records are moved to moved to no match records for variable destination for insertion there are no ma no match records are there now what i am going to do this i am changing by 
so statement values so see observe all four records are in service now i am in so statement i am changing the records from martina navatrava to martina hingis for same a third record i am taking this one so and instead of serena williams i am taking venus williams and this is second update and then i am inserting the th fifth record fifth new record here this ever this can ever this is the new record so now i am closing this save and if i want to execute the records fifth record will be updated and we don't have navratlava name in last name it's hingis and in first name it's venus for fourth third and fourth record and at this same i am removing the second record completely yeah i am going to run the package see here look up no, no match output there are there is just one row because one insertion is i am created fifth row i am created in the source document for chris award so when it comes to match records there are uh, two rows are match output here what are the two, two rows i am changing the names for third record last name for third record and first name for fourth record and fifth one is altogether new so if you go and check your table this is the existing uh, last time data now if you execute that table same table again see here there is no number flow here martin angels instead of serena williams it will appear as a venus williams and if this is what is the altogether new record so this is how you need to update upset upset command you need to update and insert the data into destination table using the lookup transformation and this is very important interview question as well the interviewer might ask you to explain the flow flow of the how to update the insert and uh, update the records to the destination table after making changes in the source document you have to tell like this so for first you have to mention flat file configuration and data lookup transformation from lookup so if, if there are any no match record we will divert it to royal db destination and if, if there is any matching records are there we execute the store procedure to update the matching records using the royal db command so this is how you need to answer for the question so hope this video helps to know how to upset um, records by using the lookup transformation